Hi, this is Kevin from the Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to be working through questions 1 to 5 of the Senior Maths Challenge from 2020. I've put all of these questions and more in a free online course, Get Ready for the Senior Maths Challenge. In that course you can work through all of these questions, not just with the video solutions, but also with my video hints before each question to help you get into the question and to solve it yourself. So I think that's really the best way to prepare for the Senior Maths Challenge. I'll put a link in the description below, you can go over there and sign up, it's totally free and there's no ads or distractions like there are here on YouTube, so do go and sign up over there. Of course if you'd rather watch the solutions right here on YouTube, you're very welcome to as well, and we will now get on with solving those problems. In question one, we want to work out the value of 2020 divided by 20 times 20. We always try to get the current year in the paper uh, somewhere in these challenges, and different ways you could approach this. I think my first instinct here is to think of this as 2020 divided by 20 and then divided by 20 again. So 2020 divided uh, by 20 gives us 101, and then 101 divided by 20, well that's uh, 5 and 1 20th, or 5.05, .05, and we can just get to the answer um, straight away uh, like that. You could of course just do 2020 over 400 as well, and you could say that that's 5 and 20 four hundredths, and that will also simplify down to 5 and 1 20th of course. Uh, which is also 5.05, .05. so different ways of doing the arithmetic here and simplifying down the fraction. Anyway, you do, it's fine. The first question is meant to be just a bit of a warm-up, really. What's the remainder when 1, 2, 3, 4 times 5, 6, 7, 8 is divided by 5? The key to this question is that we can know the remainder when something's divided by 5 just from the last digit uh, of the number, right? So, uh, you know, if obviously if the number ends in 1, 2, three uh, or four, then that will be the remainder, or if it's zero, then it's also a multiple of five, and if it ends in five, the remainder will be zero, if it ends in six, the remainder will be one, in seven, the remainder will be two, etc. Um, and the other key thing, something we've been using right from uh, the Junior Maths Challenge uh, courses here, if you have taken any of those, is this idea that when you multiply two numbers together, the product of the last digits is the last digit of the product. So actually here, all, all I need to do is look at the 4 and the 8 and say 4 times 8 is 32. The last digit of that number is 2, and so the remainder uh, when we divide this product uh, by two by 5 will be 2 because the last digit of the product will be 2. And then we're done. A shape is made from 5 unit cubes as shown. What's the surface area of the shape? Well, we can see if they're unit cubes, that just means they're 1 by 1. Uh, so the area of each individual square here is just going to be 1 a unit squared. So what we need to do is just count up how many uh, squares there are in the surface area. And you can see we've got on the top here one, two, three, four, five, and there'll be another five of those uh, on the bottom. And then we just need to count the ones that go around the side of the shape here. And you see we've got four cubes uh, sticking out here. Each of them will have one, two, and there's a third one that we can't see here. So each of those will have three. So if I add on uh, three times four, that will be three for each of those four cubes. Five plus five plus twelve. Uh, then is uh, 22, and the answer is A, 22. For the numbers P, Q, R, and S that satisfy uh, these relationships, we can see P is 2, and then P times Q is 20. So if P is 2, we've got 2 times Q is 20, so Q must be uh, 20 divided by 2, which is 10. And then we've got P times Q is 20 here, so we've got 20 times R is 202. That means that R is going to be 202 uh, divided by uh, by 20 here, which is 101 over 10, which is 10.1. Uh, and then a P times Q times R is 202, so I've got 202 times S is 2020. So S is uh, 2020 over 202, which is 10. So P plus Q plus R plus S, that must be 2 plus 10 plus 10.1 plus another 10. That's 32.1. And so the answer here is B. So the idea here isn't to actually work out the square root of this number directly. We've got five options here, and we should be able to come up with a reasonable uh, sort of guess as to uh, which one is right here. Well, more than the guess, we'll deduce exactly which of these it is um, by just thinking about how many digits there are going to be. So, you know, if I took uh, E, if I just did like 100 squared, uh, that would be 100 uh, with two more zeros, that would be 10,000. 
so that's n obviously clearly far too small here. Now 111 square would obviously be a bit bigger uh, than this, but it's not going to be way bigger. It's probably you know it's going to give us something with this sort of pattern, um, and uh, but it's going to be that sort of size. So similarly, if I've got 1,000 here, that would give me something like uh, 1 million. Now this number here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine digits. So actually, when you think about doing uh, 10,000 squared, um, well that's going to have four zeros and then another four zeros. So that's going to have uh, nine digits. And we're meant to deduce from that that the answer must be C. Um, so I've got a nine-digit number here. It's going to be a bit bigger than the square of 10,000, roughly the right sort of amount bigger. If I go to this one, it's way bigger. It's going to have two extra digits. If I use this one, it's going to have far too. It's going to be far too small. So if the answer is any of these, it must be C. We don't have to actually uh, check the full multiplication out to be sure of that, given we've got the answers. We want to save time in the maths challenge, deduce that the answer is C, and then move on as quickly as possible. Really hope you found that useful. Don't forget that all of these questions and more are included in the free online course, Get Ready for the Senior Maths Challenge, where you can work through all of these problems and more with the video solutions and also my video hints. You can select the answers, it'll tell you which ones you've got right or wrong, and you can work through the whole paper like that. I really think it's the best way to prepare for the Senior Maths Challenge. Anyway, really hope you found this useful. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me uh, get this content out there and helps get this into the uh, feeds of as many people who might find it useful as possible. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.